the meeting was cancelled. Jadi tak ada lah. Tapi rupanya walaupun cancel, dia masih lagi berkuasa. Sebab itu kali ini pun dia tak kuat. Uh, Sek saya dan apa nama Sek tadi semua ini kena set Polis dia usah kerja So next time anybody form any association Be very careful Dia usah kerja Be very careful Proper respect Jadi hari ini saya datang di sini Saya harap nak jumpa lah Dengan setiap usah kerja Nak minta Bebel dia Apa apa sebab dia saya apa kuasa dia tapi entah macam mana dia tak ada jumpa saya lepas tu dia beritahu dia kata Hamzah Zainuddin akan ada press conference upstairs on the ninth floor uh, dia kata dia boleh jumpa saya dengan, dengan Hamzah but that also hmm. didn't happen So I am a very disappointed man <laughs> Pasal saya tak tahulah Lama ada saya sudah di Buang oleh setiap uh, usaha kerja tertentu Melihat bahawa dia punya Exit dia punya authority Setiap usaha kerja ni Maka saya sebagai chairman I'm still the chairman lah eh? Please remember that because uh, when they tried to remove me also, it was not very So I am still the chairman. And uh, also I will to explain that uh, the still uh, uh, party ialah Maduki, atau Maduki Yahya. Dia masih still uh, party. Sebabnya kerana dia menunjukkan jawatan setiap usaha ini yang dicadang oleh uh, Muhyiddin sebagai presiden tidak sah. Kerana perlembagaan berkata bahawa untuk tindakan sedemikian dia perlu runding dengan saya. Tetapi dia bukan saja tak runding, dia tak beritahu pun. Dia cuma beritahu dia sudah apa nama jawatan setiap usaha ini daripada Maduki dan dia bagi kepada Hamzah Zainuddin ini dibuat sendiri oleh Presiden itu pun salah dia sepatutnya minta uh, runding dengan saya dan saya pun tolak tak jadi jadi Hamzah Zainuddin ini tak ada hak sama sekali untuk pegang jawatan dalam parti Kerana parti telah Buat keputusan Orang UMNO Yang masuk dalam parti bersatu uh, Perlu melalui satu proses Yang pertamanya Dia mesti keluar daripada UMNO Dia jadi bebas Sekian lama Kemudian dia boleh buat permohonan Kalau kita Bersuju kita boleh terima dia sebagai ahli biasa dalam bersatu Dan sebagai ahli biasa yang datang daripada UMNO Tidak boleh pegang apa-apa jawatan Jadi bila dia dilatih menjadi seusaha oleh Muhyiddin Ini salah Dari segi uh, keputusan parti ini salah Banyaklah begini yang buat yang salah Okey, yang itu saya cerita ya. Jadi sekarang ini Hamzah masih Menjadi siap ser Parti Dan Memandang bahawa Siap ser kerja ini Sudah exit Dia punya powers Saya buat keputusan Untuk wujud Jawatan siap ser Ya, so sekarang ini Kapten uh, Suhaimi Bukan lagi setiap usaha Kerja Dia tidak ada hak Tulis surat apa semua Sebagai setiap usaha kerja Ataupun guna uh, apa nama, Kertas uh, Pelatih bersatu Saya harap uh, 
Lapan fresh dulu kepada lah. Dan sekarang ni saya uh, lantik seorang lain pula untuk isi jawatan itu. Uh, kita panggil jawatan itu di, di nama sales kerja juga. Uh, orang yang kita lantik ialah apa? Uh, uh, Sazmi. Ya, Sazmi ya. Uh, dari Kedah Kelantan uh, Dia lah ni Jadi setiap usia kerja Jadi itulah Keadaan sekarang ini Dan uh, Kalau ada soalan lain Boleh uh, saya cuba jawab Tuan, Tuan, Tuan What do you hope to achieve by coming here today, Tuan? I came here because I am the The chairman This is my office I have not come to this office Simply because of Uh, this uh, COVID-19 uh, because of the restriction. I have been going to my office only from last week. So now I thought I will come here also because uh, I have work to do here and I thought that uh, I might need uh, some of the staff who have run away. <laughs> <laughs> Any other question there? Uh, according to the constitution, uh, according to the letters that were given to us, the five of you, the determination was uh, made on the basis of 10.2.2 and 10.2.3. So uh, they claim because you sat with the opposition on May 18th and you asked to be seated with uh, the block not supporting the Gatai. So on that basis, uh, would you say that you have, when you sat with the uh, opposition, would you say you have exited the party or uh, in accordance with the constitution? Well, there is no provision in the constitution uh, regarding where I see. <laughs> I can see it anyway. So I have done nothing that is against the constitution. So. Yeah, that doesn't mean that I have left the party. I can see it anywhere in Parliament. Hmm. So as the, but what about the other, all the other MPs who sat in Kerikata? Do we consider them having left the party? Hmm. Or they also can sit anywhere? It's who? The, the rest of those uh, Pesatu MPs or supporters? Well, members. they can sit anywhere. But I notice also that one of our members was given a seat in the government bench. That doesn't mean that he supports the government. He has to meet there. Yeah. So sitting uh, where you sit is not a cause for sacking. What is your next uh, move to address this determination uh, letter? Well, uh, we have been denied the right to speak in parliament. Now, parliament is created for people to speak in parliament. When that sitting was held, the members were not allowed to speak. We are still disputing whether it is a real sitting of parliament or not. Because if it is not, and if the first meeting will exceed the period of six months, then it will become invalid. So, at this moment, uh, we have not been able to uh, establish that yet. But uh, that sitting is uh, denies the essence of democracy. The essence of democracy is that the, pe the people who represent the voters, the people, must be able to speak. But this very meeting is very funny because it's confined to just hearing the king making a speech and we were not allowed to do the usual thing, to debate the king's speech, which is our right. So our right has been uh, uh, taken away from us, members of parliament who are elected by the people have not been allowed to exercise their right. 
uh, strictly speaking, this is wrong on the part of the government. They have no right to deprive us of our right to speak. Giving COVID-19 COVID, COVID, uh, as an excuse is not valid because at that time, people were already allowed to move around, to meet, and in many places to have meetings. Uh, I believe that um, Sabah Punya state government had a three-day meeting. Nothing happened. They were sitting quite far apart, of course. And in parliament, we were sitting quite far apart for two hours. No record of any one of us getting uh, infected. So if we had sat for 10 hours, 8 hours or whatever, we would have time to debate the speech uh, regarding the vote of non-confidence. Again, that was not allowed, but it's foolish ground. So that again is a denial of democratic processes. So this government has breached so many uh, democratic processes, including the formation of the so-called party, Perikatan uh, National. Uh, what we understand is that the deputy president of AMNO said there was no such party. And yet, uh, Mohidin told us that he was going to team up with them and form a party. So that also is not proper because he should have told us the truth. I'm not saying he is lying, but he wasn't telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of things were done which was quite improper. Did you resort to the court of law or uh, file a complaint to RIS uh, to uh, put up what you have to do? Uh, what? Did you resort to the court of law or? Yeah, we, we want to, but we have to think very carefully because uh, we are worried about the recent sentence passed on this money launderer. Yeah. It seems that according to Najib, money laundering is not a crime. It is a civil suit or something like that. Imagine. It's, it means it's not a crime, I don't know what it is. Uh, that is why it was not a plea bargain. It was just a special arrangement uh, in favor of the stepson of Dr. Sri Najib. So uh, we are now very concerned uh, about um, uh, going, going to the courts because we might come up with uh, decisions which are unusual uh, but of course that is going to be the new normal the new <laughs> normal is uh, you know quite different from the old normal we are people belonging to the old normal you see me I'm already 90 years old so I belong to the new, old normal but new normal is a very difficult one <laughs> good, uh, good. to RS. Okay. Would you file a complaint to ROS? Well, we are thinking about that, but the ROS has come up with some statement uh, which I think is unprecedented. Apparently, the Steel Usul Kerja wrote to the ROS to give his side the ROS side of the story and uh, the ROS of course decided that I am not the chairman of the party anymore but we have uh, uh, rejected that finding of the ROS so now we have to be very careful about referring to people who are well strong strong people in the government Yes. Good. Uh, you said before that uh, Tan Sri Muhyiddin uh, took Bersatu out of Pakatan Harapan without the MPP's approval. So, uh, do you, would you consider this as uh, leaving the party? Do you sack him? Yeah, we will to sack him. But when we want to sack him, we'll have a proper sitting of the majority. 
kepimpinan tertinggi. Ya. Meeting with country within to address the differences, or is it negotiation space to negotiate this over? I am told that he is quarantined because somebody uh, with COVID uh, nineteen uh, was near him. Uh, must be less than one meter near, near him. So now he is not uh, able to see anybody for fourteen days. Maybe you can send it us. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay.